Hi, uh, today we'll be discussing another problem on binary search tree. That problem is given a binary search tree, convert that tree into doubly linked list. For example, if this is my tree, my output should be a doubly linked list in a sorted order. That means the output should be something like this. in this, there are two conditions which are given that is like left child pointer should point to the next in the doubly linked list and right child point pointer should point to the previous node in doubly linked list how can we do that let's take tree again from the output the required output we know that the three is the first node which has to be there in the doubly linked list hence we will be traversing till three first what is the traversal order we will do left 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 till we reach three and the and the next left pointer is null we'll stop there what are the other things we need to do we need to mark three as the first node this is the first node so first node of a doubly linked list so it will be head pointer two so this is the one thing which we need to store first thing next once we have visited three what is the next node we need to visit we need to visit seven so what is the way to visit seven again at the recursion because when we we are done in the recursion with three we'll go back again to seven or the using of stack where we'll put seven onto the stack so let's see the recursion we find seven now what is the thing we need to do this is our three let's say we need to put left pointer that was null in this case to point to seven we have to change this pointer and point to seven for that when we return from recursion uh, at seven we should have some pointer towards three which points to three so we'll always store last pointer or the last node which we visited because that last node or the last pointers next should point to current node when we come out of so this is one thing which we need to store there is one thing which we need to do at every node is that we need to update the last pointer in order to connect that last pointer to the current pointer what else we need to do point right pointer of 7 to the node 3 and that 3 is node pointer so if current right should be equals to last so these are the two steps but the last pointer can be null because when we are at three we we have not taken any last pointer yet so we have to check before we access the last pointer that if last pointer is valid then only last left or the next left should be equals to so this is the one condition we need to keep track of and since uh, current right can always be last because even if last is null current right can be in this case it will be null right so this, there is no requirement of this particular condition also to point three as a header we need to take this header equals to the node when 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 should this happen this should happen when last is null that means this is the first node we are traversing so if last is is there then last left is equals to current else header equals to the current node or the current now we move back from 7 where should we go we should connect right child of 7 to the 7 so whole thing whole this thing should again happen with which node it should happen with currents right so the we'll just call the function with currents right and it will again go here it will check null it will check null so it will con 8 will come here let's let me draw here so this we have done in the left part only now we are gone to right which will return us the last node 8 so last node will be at 8 last node will be 7 so it will point to 7 and last nodes next will be current pointer that will be 8 and it will return back to 10 again 10 will be created node will be created last node will be now 8 so 10 will point to 8 and last nodes next will point to or the last nodes left will point to 10 similar way we will create the whole 
doubling I mean, write a function tree to dll which will take three parameters one as the, the root of the node another will be node reference to last node that is pointer to pointer of last node and node star star head ref that will be pointer to pointer to the head pointer of the link list so why do this pointer to pointer of last because at every invocation of the function in the recursion we will, we will be updating the last node so that updation has to be reflected onto the calling function that's why we have taken it as a pointer to pointer this head ref will be modified only once in the calling sequence which will be the first when we uh, encounter the head node we define the head node but this has to be written to the original calling function and that's why we have taken it as a pointer to pointer now what we'll do we'll start if not root then return nothing has to be done else what we'll do else we will go towards the left child of the tree that means to left the last pointer and the head ref. when we fall down from this a last is there that means we have already visited one node in the linked list so last node will be there will point last right to the current node that is root. else if this is the first node we have visited then we will put head ref equals to root that means root is our head of the double link list now what else we need to do is we have to put last sorry we have to put roots left equals to last agree and we have to update the last that means the last node which we updated is now a root what else we need to go on to the right hand side of the root now so if root the right child is there then again call the same function and then return this is the whole implementation of a binary search tree to doubly linked list conversion uh, go till the null node using this function towards the left 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 when we fall down first time we will update the head reference of the doubly linked list with that root again we will come upwards from the recursion and if last node was earlier visited then we will update the last node's right is equals to current node and we will update current nodes left is equal to the last node and then current node will become last node for the next invocation of tree to dll function and we will traverse the right hand side of the node so this was a very simple code using recursion there is another method where we can convert this binary search tree into dll using queues that dll will be a zigzag traversal of binary search tree and it will not be a sorter order doubly linked list the, what is now the complexity of this algorithm as we are visiting every node only once it, the complexity of this algorithm is o of n and since we are not using any extra space the space complexity of o of 1 so this is all about conversion from a binary search tree to doubly linked list thank you very much for watching